Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool looking acoustic ceiling. So there are a bunch of these wonderful designs for acoustic ceilings and the idea is you eliminate echo in the room and the ceiling just looks amazing. So I'm going to be creating this kind of a alternating type hatch thing but there is a bunch of designs you can make maybe make this this design with some just these pinholes or whatever the point is to have kind of sound be bouncing around just a little less so you get a little less echo but anyway I'm going to be using this project over here and now this is a auto repair shop project that I've been using for a couple of tutorials now and if you want to see those tutorials the links are in the description and now I'm going to jump into Illustrator just to make some basically a cutout map for the material that I'm going to be using later on and if that doesn't make sense at the moment don't worry it will until the end of this tutorial but before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day okay so I'm just going to go here into Illustrator open it up and you can use any software for this just use whatever you you can or whatever you use just for this I'm going to use Illustrator so I'm just going to go here with a custom 10 by 10 centimeter sheet of paper and this is what we have so I'm just going to do a rectangle over here like this and then I'm just going to select it and increase the stroke to I don't know something like 4 and then I can just scale it down by holding the shift to kind of have it proportional so I have this over here let me just delete this okay so I have this little rectangle so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this line and kind of create a line in the center that should also be four stroke then I'm just going to do a line up just to divide this surface in half and then I can just select this and extend it to the other side and then I just make this a bit smaller Oops. I make this a bit smaller and then I can copy this to the middle of that. So once we have this, this is kind of a pattern that we're going to be using. So I'm just going to select this and kind of hold Alt and Control and copy it down to have it over here. And then, okay, then I can just select all of these lines and then just copy them down. So kind of have something that looks like that. So once we have this, I can select it, right click and go group. And then I can just hold the control, copy it here and then place it over here. Then copy it around, rotate it, place it over here. And then again, hold the control, place it down and you get something that looks like this. Now this is the pattern that we're going to use to make a cutout in our material. So I'm just going to save this. So just save as desktop perhaps, yeah. Let's save it like that, doesn't matter how. And then I'm just going to open it up in Photoshop and then just save it as a JPEG. Now I know I can save as a JPEG from Illustrator. I just found that it works a little bit better and it's higher quality when I save from Photoshop for some reason. So I'm just going to minimize these two, right click, open with Photoshop just hit OK and then I'm just going to go here and save as JPEG that I'm going to save to desktop so here just save at highest quality OK and then let's open up Revit so now let's just go into the material so for that I'm going to go here and open this up in wireframe so you can find my ceiling over here and as you can see, this is this compound 600 by 600 grid ceiling. So I'm just going to go with the plane ceiling for this and then go edit type, duplicate. Let's call this new. Let's just leave it at that and then open this structure up. And I'm just going to delete this extra material. I just need one material and let's make it 0.4 so this is like four centimeters and then I'm just going to open up the material here 
And now let's find some wood material. So I'm just going to type in here wood. And then let's find something that looks nice. Perhaps this plywood sheeting is best for this project. And as you can see here, it, it's got this cutouts option over here in the appearance tab. So what you're going to do is you're going to click right click, go duplicate, and you have this copy over here. I'm just going to name it new as well. And now I can go here and just check this cutouts and here I need to search for the cutout map. So I'm just going to select this here that we created and then I need to open this drop menu over here and go into edit image. We need to adjust the size of this image. So if I maybe make this a bit bigger, you can see here we have scale. So this is now 0.3 meters by 0.3 meters and that's just way too small. So let's try making it 2 by 2 meters and now I think it would look better and as you can see here we already have some realistic looking holes. So I'm just going to hit done, go apply, go OK, OK, OK and now we're finished. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go into level 1 and create a camera view over here, kind of like that, I guess, or maybe let's do it to the other side. Maybe that's better. So camera view like this, this is what we get. Let's kind of angle it up a bit. So let's look up, kind of like that, cancel out of this. Okay, and now let's render this to see what our ceiling looks like. Now, the great part about this ceiling, it's only in the material, so the cutout is only in the material. Now, of course, it would look a lot better if you actually just go here into edit boundary and then edit the boundary of this ceiling, but that would make the model way too heavy and it's just unnecessary unless you need some really, really good photorealistic renderings that you quite rarely need to be honest. So I'm just going to go here double R for render, hit just just as normal settings rendering and then we can bring up the exposure later on. As you can see now it's way too dark but don't worry we're just going to bring up the exposure. So go here, bring this to brighter, go apply and as you can see here we have our amazing acoustic ceiling. So it basically copied all of the the holes from our cutout map and it created this amazing created this amazing looking acoustic ceiling. Now as you can see if you zoom in you can see there are kind of double lines and it doesn't look amazing from all angles but m in most cases this is going to be working just fine and if you need just to have it perfect then I guess you need to cut out everything but that will take a lot of time and it will make your model unnecessarily heavy. Okay so that's it for this tutorial, thank you for watching, please subscribe, like and share this video and I will see you tomorrow.